So I'm going to be doing something not so glamorous. Um, I have this stroller and it's just a side-by-side -side double stroller. It's like a pretty lightweight one. Um, this was actually my second stroller I got just to have like a backup in my mom's car. And it's been sitting outside for a while. Um, I mean probably at least two or three months. Two. Two, I think. Um, because I got a new stroller for Christmas that's a lightweight stroller, but it's like a front and back. Oh, you call it like a, it's a double stroller, but it's like a sit and stand, but it has an extra seat on it. Um, so this one got just put outside basically, and it's pretty gross now. Um, we never took it in. So now it has got some mold on it, and it is in desperate need of a real washing. I don't know if you can see that. It's really gross. I really hate to just waste things, especially something like a stroller that I can try and salvage. And it's, I mean, we bought it new. It's not like some junky used stroller or anything. So I'm going to try and clean it up and we will see if I'm able to. If not, it's just going to have to go because I'm obviously not going to put them in a gross stroller, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to save it. Um, so I'm going to soak it in the bathtub for a while with some cleaner in it and then I'm gonna actually strip it down and wipe it off and put like the cushions and stuff in the washer obviously because it actually needs to be cleaned but just as a first step to get the ball rolling I'm gonna try and soak it. <laughs> kind of been letting it soak to see if it really makes a difference so let's see this water is really gross it's like a murky yellow oh my god that's heavy but it's definitely still really gross so you can see it's still really gross but this is just me like leaving it in here. Yeah, look at the water. Ugh, that's horrible. So now I'm gonna try and take the cover off and see if I can get this in the wash. So it looks like in order to actually get this off, I'm gonna need to go grab a screwdriver. So give me just a second, I'll be right back. So far, and I still have a bunch more. These are all the ones I've 
gotten so far. And there's still this one. That's like a weird one. There's two in here, I think, and then two in there. And one on either side of these bars on this outside over here. Up there. And I think there's one more. All right, so I'm just gonna go shower off my body real quick because I don't want to feel gross and smell like that cleaner and moldy water when I go out. <laughs> and I'm gonna get dressed and hopefully pick out some clothes for the boys before they wake up also, and maybe pack up the diaper bag, which shouldn't need too much, but you never know. All right, so I got dressed and then Oliver woke up pretty shortly after, so now I am hiding in his teepee. Not really hiding. He was over here, and I'm just too lazy to get up, and he left me. So, <laughs> now he's kind of, like, coming back and forth and hanging out with me and then ditching me. So. Ali! Ali! Hi! Come here. Crazy feet. Good, baby. <laughs> what did I do? Here's a what, baby? And then you. Woo, good job. Jump. One, two, three. Wow. One, two, three. <laughs> Good job. Right now is definitely one of those times where I should be taking advantage of only having one of them awake, but I'm just being lazy. Like I should be packing the diaper bag and picking out clothes and getting Oliver dressed. I really just don't want to right now. <gasps> Ready? Can you say vroom vroom? Let this out your way. Vroom vroom. What's the car say? <laughs> oh goodness, life's rough. What's the car say? Vroom vroom. <gasps> vroom vroom. No, close the door. Lock the car. Lock it. Every day for me, picking out clothes for them is like, I have nothing to wear. <laughs> they actually need pants though. All these are like two tees, except for just a few. And they also have some more things down in here. I think this one's shirts and jackets. And this one is pants, sweatpants all that jazz um but they need shorts actually i bought shorts where are they hmm. oh i don't think i watched them yet lord um target had their kids clothes on sale i'm literally either the worst or the best depending on your view when it comes to buying clothes and especially kids clothes or maybe more my clothes i don't know regardless i am i'm cheap i guess you would say um I just don't understand the point in spending a lot of money on clothes. They have plenty of clothes. So it's not like they have nothing and I'm that kind of cheap. It's just I will not spend more than five to seven. Seven is max. I would have to really like something to spend seven dollars on it. Like for their shirts and stuff. And I probably wouldn't spend more than like ten 
dollars on a pair of pants and those would have to be like real joggers like these kind of pants or something and these <laughs> they're really good. these I did not even pay that much for those I think I paid like six or seven dollars for all their clothes either come from Target which is most of them really um Old Navy or uh Kohl's I really like Kohl's for some of their graphic shirts and also their shorts are really nice they're like um comfy shorts I don't know what they'd be called are they just cotton shorts Target I literally buy their shirts for like $4.50 and then I have the red card so it's another 5% and a lot of times just like recently um they have their kids clothes like 20% off on cartwheel so that's worth it to me that's when I kind of like stock up on clothes also or when Old Navy has good sales um I am a clearance shopper for sure I have to be for the price that I like to pay for a lot of things so I'm just gonna go through and try and pick out an outfit for them today um I feel like it takes me forever because I'm always so indecisive when it comes to their clothes that they're gonna wear but hopefully I can find something quickly <laughs> Ollie loves trains and Jasper's pretty into them too right now um so yesterday at Target I got them a super cute little train set and once he puts that one on there, he's doing so good. He like connects them all and everything. Okay, press this button. And you can actually put steam in here too, like water and it makes steam. Not really steam. Um, little animals move. Leave it on there, Bubba. Curly really track. He just wants to play with them, which is fine. That's what it's for. There we go. Leave it on there. <gasps> Choo -choo! All these little animals move. Show me to shut it off so you can play with it. Yeah. There you go. And then sing. It plays music. I need to push it around. <gasps> they love this thing. <laughs> These are the only issue. But to be fair, it did say on the box it was a four or four year old, but I don't really understand why. Um, all these pieces like are just one solid piece and it seems pretty sturdy, but um, these do come apart pretty easily and they like to pick them up. Also, if it comes apart, they'll try and actually like pick the track up to fix it and reconnect it, which just makes the rest of it fall apart. Choo -choo! Press this button. Press that front one. Press the other one. Press the other one. The little one. Press this one. <gasps> Choo -choo! <gasps> <laughs> but anyways, um, these are the outfits I ended up with. This little robot one. And I think this one's from Children's Place. Yeah, that's another place I like to get them. But I do think their graphic tees run small. What's wrong, Papa? Cool. That one's not gonna connect it there, though, baby. Then I have these shorts and this shirt that I showed you already. Those are their outfits for today. So I put the children's play shirt on Ollie, and look how small it is on him. It should be pretty roomy on him, and it's really not. His tummy is pretty tight in there. So it's kind of more like a 2T, I'd say, honestly, but longer. Since, of course, I'm a cool mom, not a regular mom, they're wearing their slippers to the store. Who cares? Really, we're going to the dollar store. What I'm really looking for is something to fill up some sensory drawers. I was kind of thinking like these little dinosaur figures. Yarn here before, so that's pretty cool. 
Hmm. I love these stickers, but I have zero use for them, so. <laughs> All right, so we are home. I am hot and sweaty, so I had to change out of that. Why I wasn't told long sleeves and jeans are not a good idea is beyond me. Um, so I changed into this shirt, which all of a sudden feels like a baby gap shirt to me. And I'm not sure if it's just because I gained weight or because I think I put it in the dryer. I don't normally dry my shirt, but whatever. And I put some shorts on, so I'm going to make a quesadilla for them. And if I have enough cheese, I'm probably going to make myself a soy chicken wrap, whatever, chicken wrap. Um, and then I am going to show you what I got from the dollar store. I swear these two can rip things apart faster than I can pick them up. Like I was cleaning everything up because it was a disaster here before we left. And then I turn around, the area I just picked up is already destroyed again. So what's the point? <laughs> like, goodness. But I think I finally have it good enough for now um meh whatever i am obsessed with making these it's just a spinach wrap and then it has some cheese in it and a morning star chicken patty and um also some nutritional yeast and it is so good and i also made them quesadillas all right so i'm just gonna take a minute and show you what i got at the dollar store um most of it um, I also bought them hula hoops, but those are already in the living room, and I'm trying to hide this stuff, so I'm doing it in here with this one little crappy light, which is why I look shiny. Um, so, to start, I got them some Easter things. Got them each these cute little baskets. I honestly do not like keeping baskets, or normal. I think last year I didn't even get baskets. I bought, like, white bins that could, would be functional as something else. I don't even know what I did with those white bins. Oh yeah, I do. Um, these are actually, I got them these little bins and they were still filled. Um, but I wanted to get something that could be used as something else. I hate just buying things to waste them. But this year, since they're a little bit bigger, I wanted actual baskets and I'm gonna try and do a little bit of an Easter egg hunt. So I got them these cute little baskets and they had like those original longer handle ones, but I saw these and they were a lot cuter. But for a dollar, if I end up throwing these out after, it's not really a big deal. And I could buy like, yeah, the better ones from Target or wherever and save them, but I don't really have room to save Easter baskets for all year, so it's whatever. And then these I figured would probably sell pretty quickly because they are an 18 pack of cute little, not really, almost pastel colored eggs because they have like those harsher toned ones too. Um, but I really like the colors of these a lot better. But for 18 eggs for a dollar, I thought that was a pretty darn good deal. So I got two packs of those and I'm not honestly sure how many I'll need overall, but I want to get at least two packs. They made us like walk out, so I did not even get the whole Easter egg thing. So, and then I got them these little duckies, little shell, and I got them these for Valentine's Day. I don't know if you saw them, but they were going crazy over over these. They're like the balloons that you smack, and then it pops open. I think these ones are actually egg shaped. Hi. Um, so I got them these. I was so tempted to buy two packs of these, but I don't need eight of these balloons sitting around. What's wrong, buddy? And these, I actually got them, um, I grabbed them to distract them at the store because they were getting pretty fussy. Um, so uh, these I just got, and I don't even think these are really going to be an Easter thing. This one says birthday on it. So, uh, there's little board books with Sesame Street. Actually, pretty cute. Like that. And then what I actually went there for 
Um, Jasper has been getting pretty bad with getting mad and having temper tantrums. So I was looking at um, really like alternatives to timeouts, but I don't think timeouts are really going to do him that well. And I feel bad to like just having him sit there and cry basically. Where are you going with my diapers? Um, so I saw sensory jars and even if I set him aside to try and like calm him down, I think the sensory jar might be distracting to him. So I got two different things, um, to make two different jars. I need to still go buy actual, like those Voss water bottles to have a jar for him. But, um, I bought these confetti stars. And then the other one, I only got one pack of these because I don't know how well they're going to fit in there. But I got the little <laughs> dinosaurs, which I thought would be kind of funny to put in there. But hopefully that will work and I'll kind of distract him when he's mad just to get his mind off of it. But only time will tell. If not, he might like it just as a toy when he's not mad. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't have enough seats? Let me use you, Em. You guys are funny. Ha, ha, ha. 